All right, talking about residential footings here and uh, foundations, I should say, and we'll also put some footings in. Um, so to kind of do this, it's there's a few steps. Um, first off, I'm looking kind of at where we last left off. Remember, the first thing is uh, where your floor is should be at least six, six to eight inches above the ground. Um, so that way there's kind of some grading. There's a slight slope to... Uh, allow all the water to run away from the house rather than into the house. Um, no one wants a flooded basement or a flooded floor. Um, so to double check that, I'm always going to go check over in my elevation views. And if you remember, I created this ground level, which was six inches below. Uh, oftentimes here, I also like to create a couple, uh, one other level here to kind of keep track of. And that's going to be the bottom of the footing. Okay, so where the footing will actually start. And so just kind of set that. I'm just going to add one more level here. Uh, I'm going to compare it to here, just drag it down, and I want it to be four feet below. Okay, so we're going to create a four foot uh, footing. So you can see here it's actually four and six inches below the ground. I'm going to line it up here. It will lock them together. And once I have that set up, I'm going to rename it. I'm going to rename this one top of the footing. Okay, so the footing, remember, kind of uh, allows for the foundation to be a little bit stronger. And so right now it's four feet and six inches below the um, grade level or the floor. So I'm going to line that up over there, just tidy it up. Okay, so that'll give me a reference point that I can kind of click on a little bit later. All right, so from here, I'm going to kind of go back over to my floor plan and take a look. All right, so I've got my floor set up. Uh, we might do a quick review of how to create your... Um, roofing and update your walls as well. Um, so we'll do that in a second. Actually, real quick, I'll just kind of update. Right now I have my walls as being generic walls. So I'm gonna click on those, they're basic wall generic. I will change those. I'm gonna make mine all brick. So we'll do brick on CMU. Uh, in the future, I'd probably recommend doing some siding as well since siding is uh, a little more affordable than having brick all the way around. All right, so there's my brick, opens it up a little bit. <clears throat> Okay, so first off, I'm going to go under structure here, and I'm creating a wall. Okay, so I'm going to stick with architectural, and uh, here, when you select this now, I'm going to find the one that says foundation, 12-inch uh, concrete. Okay, so that's the proper one to do for a foundation wall. And right now, you can see that the base constraint here is set up to floor, and it's, set, it's going to start 12 feet below the floor level. Where we want it to be is actually... Uh, if you remember, it was the four feet and six inches below, and it'll go up to the floor level. All right, so I hit apply, and now I want these to fall along the inside of the of the wall. Um, so you can choose actually this pick lines tool, and that lets you to kind of select, and you'll get this little pop up saying that uh, you're it's not visible in this current um, view. Uh, which is fine. Okay, so I just went ahead and selected all of those. And now if I go over to my 3D view, I should see that I've got my foundation walls that goes all the way around the house. Okay, and I'm going to go back over to my elevation view. Let's go to my east elevation view. And notice that my foundation now goes from the floor all the way down to the top of the footing, which is what I want it to be. All right, and the final part to this is to actually create the footings. So I'll go, I'll go here to the top of my footing, and all I have to do at this point is come over to this right here, structural foundation wall, and that creates that little footing. Um, bearing footing, 36 by 12, that's fine. We'll just stick with the default here. All right. And again, it'll kind of tell me that these aren't visible right now. Uh, and that's because of the, the current location that we're at. But I will go click on those anyways. And now when I go to my 3D view, I should be able to spot my footings have shown up there. And uh, I've got a nice strong foundation for my home. All right. And if you want, you can also make this more of like a realistic view. Let's go ahead and do that right now. It takes a second to load. Okay, now I've got my foundation walls. I've got my ramp going up into my affordable home. And um, 
Okay, at this point, you can take a screenshot showing that you've got your foundation in there. Um, and actually, I would probably ask you to do a isometric here, um, as well as going to your elevation view. You should be able to show me that the footing is appropriately four and a half feet below the floor. Okay, and I'll do a quick review of how to put the roof on, just because since we're kind of looking at it right now, I'll go to my roof view. Um, to put in a roof, roof, I'm going to architecture roof. Uh, we'll do a simple, we'll stick to the simple uh, gable edges. Okay, so to do that, I do want a uh, one foot overhang. And first off, to define the slope, I want these edges to define the slope. I'm going to uncheck define slope and then have these edges be my gabled edges. Okay. I'm going to double check here. The base level is roof and then it'll, it'll go up from there. You can also set up your slope as needed. I like the check mark. Let's take a look at my 3D view. Okay, that looks decent. I might want to bring this overall height down a little bit. It looks pretty tall for the type of house we're building. Okay, and then finally, if we want to attach your walls, I'm going to go ahead and select all my walls just to make sure these are actually attached to the roof. Okay, I'll select all of them. And then you should see this option right here, attach top to base. And then you select your roof, and it should kind of pull it up to the top of the roof. Okay, so that should be good for there. And uh, I think that should be it for now. Okay, so you got your foundation set. Again, a screenshot of your elevation view showing that you have the proper footing size. And uh, go ahead and get your 3D view as well um, showing that you have your footing and your roof put on there.